Whiskey Jason here, whiskey from the viewpoint of American over here in Germany. Ah, tasting rare and exotic whiskeys. Smile, smile, smile. Buna 12 cast strength 2022 versus Buna 12 year old cast strength 2021. <laughs> whiskey number two of the year 2022. Is this going to be whiskey number one of 2023 in January? Already? We'll find out. All right, so this is whiskey base number two. Come on, let's keep on scrolling. All right, so 219589. I paid 89 euros and 90 cents for this. Over here we have now our um, contender and champion so far. Whiskey base number 194125. So we have 56.1%. According to Whiskey Base, this was bottled on the 18th of August, 2021. And according to Whiskey Base, this has our 56.6, and it was bottled in 2022. <laughs> now, this was a Christmas present to myself. I must admit that. Now, what did I do? I had um, bought... This stashed it away for a moment because I knew the 2022 was coming soon. And so I just want to pour a little bit more so it's about even. And um, so I waited for this. And then on Christmas Eve, I sent out to all my super fans the possibility to actually order. We have cask shares and we have bottle shares over here. In this case, a bottle share, a set, 5CL, or some people actually order 10CL. Of the 2021 2022 so they can pair them compare them with each other just like i'm doing now and so that was my christmas present i kept 5cl i should have kept 10. i maybe should have kept everything <laughs> that's the problem all right what is my control whiskey or calibration whiskey it's going to be the 12 year old from buna now over here as i said 89.90 80, let's call it 90 euros. Um, this is going to be about 90 euros as well. Weird, weird. At the moment, this is available in the UK. Masters of Malt has, has it on sale, which I don't understand, for 69 pounds. All right. So um, over here, it's shown up twice um, at different places. And we always just kind of buy and it sells out within days. At the moment, Germany, I'm sorry, all of continental Europe at the moment this is the middle of January 2023, is sold out. Um, this, on the other hand, the 2021 version somehow isn't. For some reason, some online shops have suddenly received um, or stashed away and now are selling the 2021 version. Now, <laughs> Apparently, we were so limited in the stock that we received of the 2022 that there actually are at the moment many, many, many more bottles of the 2021 out there to be had. Just for an example, we're paying over here in Germany for this um, anywhere between 85 and 135. I'm sorry, 155 euros. So we have also online gouging uh, over here as well. All right, but the normal price is somewhere between... 100 and 135 and over here if you can find it it was originally 90 and then it went do 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 supply and demand sometimes it sucks 55.1 56.6 on the nose they're different and what i really really liked do jason no surprise but what i really really liked is at the back of the the tin, the can here, they actually have different tasting notes. So even the distillery themselves know that they are different. So I went to uh, www.bunahaben.com, went to their limited editions, and I can actually click on then the 12 year old um, cast strength 2022. It says here about the more information. Inspired by our Warehouse 9 experience at the distillery where visitors taste ca uh, whiskey straight from the cask, our second annual release of the 12-year-old cask strength really celebrates everything that makes Bunaben special. It's unpeated, sherried, and spicy with more intense and rich flavors of dried fruit, 
and spice compared to the more gentle 2021 release. To create this special release, our blending team hand-selected cask based on type and profile. Mainly, not exclusively, mainly matured in first and second fill Oloroso sherry casks with a small percentage of bourbon barrels to balance out the flavors, this whiskey offers a behind-the-scenes peek into our spirit before it goes into our uh, goes into our uh, before it goes to our master blender, Juliana um, Fadines, uh, to work her magic to create our iconic twelve-year-old. The twelve-year-old. All right, like all our whiskeys, this is non-chill filtered and bottled with natural color. So very, very interesting. This I'm sorry. Well, last year <laughs> in May of 2022, I was at Bunahaben. I did the warehouse number nine experience. I don't think I'll forget that anytime soon. Um, that way it was a Sunday afternoon. I was there. Um, very, very nice um, experience. Uh, being in that warehouse number nine was great. Walking by, going to the visitor center, experiencing the people, the smell, the whole area. Um, Isla was fantastic. Buna was one of the highlights of my entire tour there. And then we have the 2021 special release, which was the second best single malt that I and my um, super fans, super fans of people who support me at Patreon, actually have uh, rated. The only one that was better was an Ed Redauer 22-year-old cherry cask. Mm, that was so good. And now the question, is this better? So on the nose, yes. Now, this gets a little bit of a, um, there's more acidity in here. So on the nose, they say, I'm just going to use the official tasting notes for a moment. They say here for the 2022 edition, it's milk chocolate, red berries, dried fruit combined with classic oloroso spice of cinnamon and cloves. Totally agree. Over here it says, berries, citrus. Ah, that's acidity comes from the citrus and toasted oak which gradually transitions to sweet vanilla and a hint of cinnamon spice i think my personal opinion that they picked casks that were predominantly first and second filled oloroso with just a small percentage of the bourbon i think they had more bourbon in here and they had other casks in here as well my personal opinion is that there's one or two casks in here that they would, uh, that they did not, from the type of flavor profile, they did not put in that 2022 edition. I hope, I hope that everyone that wants to can somehow try the Buna 12 cast during 2021 or 2022 at a whiskey festival, whiskey fair, um, through a sample, through an exchange of samples with buddies, at a bar, um, at a whiskey tasting, I think this is definitely going to be in my top three of 2023 already. I'm saying that now. Wow. All right. So let's try this. This does have a little bit more of a um, a little bit more power here with 56.6%. By the way, if you can buy at Bunahaben.com, um, the official price at the store, the online store, is 91 uh, euros and 95 cents. So if I paid 89.90 for this, it's cheaper than buying it directly from Buna. Um, if you can get it Masters of Malt in the UK, you're going to be even cheaper. Um, there are other places, I'm sure, that have good prices, shipping, handling, might double the price of your bottle. Be prepared for that. Ah, yum. Dark chocolate, berries, dried fruits, wood oak, and a little bit of a Christmas allspice in here going on. Beautiful. Now, let's try this and I'll talk about something else you might not like. Cheers. Mm. Mm -hmm. Wow. <sighs> Happy Jason. A. <laughs> that, I think I gave this an A minus. 
if I gave if I give this an A, this is not going to be an A plus. I thoroughly enjoy this whiskey. This whiskey really does it for me. Wow, coating, thick, rich raisins. A little bit of dried fruits. I'm thinking apricots at this moment, including um, also like dried. I'm gonna go for dried pr prunes. I, I'm not a, a sweet, sweet, sweet prunes. Um, mm, that oloroso sherry is the old style sherry that I love. Um, wow. And now I'm gonna say the following: value for money, C plus. Why do I say that? I have very seldom in my life had a whiskey under 100 euros taste anything close to this. Most of the whiskeys that I've had that have this mouthfeel, this experience, this wonderful mouth orgasm have been 150, 200, 300 euro bottles. And therefore, I personally think that this is a great value for money. I'm going to go out, I'm going to look for two more bottles of this. One to stash away from myself and one to use in a tasting one day. I think this is magnificent. Now, but Jason, Jason, I can get this for 40 euros. Why should I pay double the price for just 10% more ABV? Well, I can tell you why. Because first of all, it tastes delicious. And second of all, um, here we have all sorts of stuff thrown in there, very big batches. And here we have more selected stuff, <laughs> casks, barrels, for this. Um, and they really went out of the way <clears throat> to make sure that there were, I'm going to say exclusively, A-plus whiskeys in this blend, and this bottling expression. Over here, a little bit of cleansing the palate. I have the feeling... <clears throat> That there were one or two casts that really should not have been in there. This is still great. All right. Very great. But this is magnificent. Cheers. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. In my personal opinion... You can really taste. You can really taste the the more substantial amount of bourbon in here, um, and that there's a little bit of. I actually called it like a balsamico um, vinegar moment. There's some great balsamico vinegars out there, um, vinegars that are thick and you've had salads and you've had your uh, mozzarella and tomatoes where you put that balsamico on top of it. And think very, 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 very high class. And there's a little bit in here. Here, not at all. And that's where I'm just kind of, I, I do like this. As I said, the second best whiskey I had, in my opinion, single malt scotch, in the year 2022. And yet this beats it, in my opinion, by a lot. <laughs> all right, very, very good. Now, you might go, Jason, you're, you're just crazy. No, it can't be that good. So what I have here is the normal Buna 12. Now, if you can find this, as I said, over in Europe, you're 40 euros. It used to be 30 something, now it's 40 something. All right, go for this. If you can't find these and you haven't tried this, go for this. If you um, want to gift someone a whiskey, you don't know what to give them. You don't know if the person likes peated whiskeys or unpeated whiskey or Irish whiskey or American or whatever. Give them, find a Buna 12 and give it to him as a Father's Day gift as a belated Christmas gift, as a birthday gift, as a whatever gift, um, they will thank you for it. I do not know of any whiskey drinkers, me included, that have said, oh, Buna 12, no thank you. It's either going to be yes to give it to me now. <laughs> All right, so it's called, we like it, or we're just going to worship the ground you walk on because you gave us this. Um, very, very good. Now, Mm -hmm. Interesting enough that I get more of a vanilla sweetness today on this than I did on that. Here I get more of that sherry dried fruit sweetness over here. 
Would I be happy with the Buna 12 the way it is? Actually, yes. Um, I've had some, there were, I bought two years ago, some batch variation problems. Um, at least there were two batches that we had over here in Germany that was like, uh oh, and then it's like, oh, wait a second, it's back to normal. Ah, that's back to normal. Um, very, very nice. Very, very well done. Um, that's a, a guarantee for something you're going to like. This is something <laughs> a guarantee you're going to love. And this is a guarantee of something you're also going to very, very much enjoy. I think these bottles are just fabulous. Distill, Bunahaben, thank you for answering the prayers of many whiskey geeks out there and finally giving us the cast strength of the 12-year-old we've been asking for. Uh, some of us maybe for more than 20 years. I don't know. Um, others of us only for five years. But um, I'm so happy to have this and this, and um, I'd be more happier for this. So A to A+, plus, one of the best whiskeys I've had in my entire whiskey career. I have 3,500 whiskey videos online on YouTube in Germany, in German. That's a lot of whiskey I've tried in my life and documented. So to say this is something I really like, um, that's saying a lot. And um, you put a little bit of water in it, actually still... Can, it can fight the water, it can keep, keep out the water, and um, my best is just put a few drops in there, take it down like 53%. Yum. All right, so my question today is what is your favorite product from Bunahaben? Is it the 12? Is it Stosha? Is it whatever else? Now, before I stop, there is this wonderful book, and they do have some great information in there. And I wanted to mention one little thing which I found very unique. Let's say that word unique here. All right, so you go to Bunahab and you know that it's 1881 that it was founded, same year, if I remember correctly, also as um, Bruchladi, and both on Isla, and it says here the capacity is 2.7 million liters. But then you read here, and it says here, finally there are two pairs of stills where the number two pair was exchanged in summer 2022. The production plan for 2022 is to do slightly above 3 million liters, split between 45% peated and 55% unpeated. The peating level has increased during the last years, and the barley now has a phenol specification of 35 to 45 ppm. Buna went 24-7, and now they're producing more than their official capacity has a little bit to do with um, also what they do here now. Um, for quite some time, the mash size has consistently been 12.5 tons, but recently they have been experimenting with either 12 mashes of 15 tons or 13 mashes of 14.5 tons. There are six washbacks made of Oregon pine, of which two, the last couple dating back to 1963-64, were replaced in the summer of 2022 as well. And having changed to 24-7 production, the fermentation time is now an even 56 hours. All right. So look at that. Look at that. Bunahaben is producing so much whiskey that they're above their own name maximum capacity. All right. Very, very good. Buna, love what you're doing. Uh, if it was up to me, more um, unpeated and less peated. Um, that would be my favorite that thing there. Stosha, a lot of people love it, but I'm a more of this type of guy. Good job. Good job. Thank you. All right. What's your favorite um, product from Bunahaben? And when that's a problem, then go to um, what is your favorite Isla product? All the best. Whiskey Jason here. Thank you for sharing. Thank you for liking. Thank you for um, subscribing and telling others. Then this is magical, magical whiskey. Bye-bye.